Hi, it's another great day in Southern California. Today, we're going to review my Quick Gear 3.5 push cart. So I golf six days a week. I walk the entire time on the street here to get to my golf course, but also the golf cart in the grass. So I think that this thing has about 8,000 miles on it. It's holding up pretty good. Okay. Pretty tidy. Fits in my SUV. I'm sure it'll fit inside your trunk. And I've got this accessory on it too, which is the seat, and it folds in rather nicely as well. So I'm going to put the, um, the camera on a little tripod, and I'll show you how to set this thing up. It's pretty easy. All right. All right. So first of all, when you pick it up, make sure you don't pick it up at a pinch point, or it may slide into hurt you. Okay? It's pretty easy. You just lift her up. Top part. It'll just uh, click into place here. Hear that click? Just clicks into place. And the bottom part, you'll just open it up. You have to make sure the straps are out of the way of the wheel. Open her all the way. Push down this lever to lock it in place. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And to undo it, you just reverse the process. You pull this lever up, release this wheel, and then back here is a little lever to unlock the front. So I show you a couple of close-up items on it. So looking at this guy a little closer, see a latch here. It'll go down to lock the wheel in place. This little latch here, where it says push, locks the arm in place. And if you want to adjust the arm or lower it down, you can simply undo the screw and it'll collapse the whole arm unit. Okay, so my unit here, we have a little cuff holder, we have the umbrella holder. The umbrella has a little latch here, so you put it over your umbrella arm or handle so it doesn't blow away in the wind. Has a little cubby here, all right? Store whatever you need inside there. Now this little thing broke. This is a little elastic wrap that connected over here to hold your scorecard, but that of course broke. This thing's like five years old, okay? It's been in the rain, it's been in the sun. It's got 8,000 miles on it. This is the, you know, cracking here on the rubber. I'm not surprised. It's got a little holder here for your club or your umbrella, okay? It's got a basket your range finder if you need that. So your clubs will set here, right, at the base of it, where it's a little bit peeling away. So my clubs, I still have the little kickstand, uh, you know, attached to the um, club, so it doesn't seat as well as if I had the kickstands off. So that's okay, not a big deal. And the elastic, uh, you know, stretch guy goes around your clubs, of course. And this side has a little hook, and it hooks in the ring to make it nice and secure. And you can slide the rings up and down the elastic to make it tighter or looser. And um, typically, every two or three times, I got to tighten it because um, the rings do slip a little bit. Okay, here I have the seat on mine. It's a quick gear. So it is made for this unit. It's pretty nice. It goes up and down and it seats on the ground here, which is cool. Gives it uh, some stability, all right? It's got a really nice wide wheelbase here. So it doesn't tip over. And I like to ghost ride this down the hill a lot. And um, of course you gotta push it up the hill. It gets a little heavy, but that's okay. So what else we got here? Oh, because so I do walk a lot on the concrete. You see the wheels here? You know, they're starting to wear a lot on this side and on this side as well. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll just rotate the wheels and see if that works. Otherwise, I gotta buy new wheels. Okay, and up here, there's a little lock or brake. So it rolls all by itself. 
pull the brake up, and it locks the front wheels. Let's see how this thing uh, rolls by itself. There you go. So that's, pr that's pretty good. All right. So it rolls pretty well and true. But when my bag's on it, if your bag's a little lopsided, it'll kind of pull to the left or to the right. Okay. So I'm going to show you another real cool accessory. For this. All right, so this thing's pretty cool. So you know you got to carry your divot sand with you all the time. Well, instead of paying 40 or 50 bucks for a little divot sand holder, go to Costco, buy a two pound container of M&Ms. You got to eat the M&Ms, attach this with the little bungee cords, and check this out. Slides right in there. And that way, you don't have to buy a unit, but also you always use the sand that's provided by the golf course in their own little sand holders so you don't introduce the wrong sand to the golf course, contaminate the, uh, the fairways. Okay, so what else we got? Well, overall I think it's a really good unit. This thing I said is about five years old, 8,000 miles, and uh, it's doing pretty good for me. And this here, one more thing. So the elastic, sometimes it gets kind of long, and depending on how big your bag is, it might drag on the ground or tangle in the wheel, so you kind of got to knot it up so you don't have any problems like that. Okay, this is our quick gear, 3.5. I recommend this thing. It's pretty good. Top of the line. Only for the best. Thanks for watching. Bye.